Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see that what is consolidation and how can we use consolidation for our own benefit in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, the question arises that what actually is consolidation? So a simple definition of consolidation is uh, it is a procedure uh, that is used when you apply any kind of function on the data that is available in different sheets. So now we can understand it uh, very easily with the help of an example. So here I have three sheets, sheet one, sheet two and sheet three, as you can see over here. Uh, in the sheet one, I have a table uh, which consists of names and uh, four quarters and uh, there are some numbers given. All right. Similar data is given in this uh, sheet two table as well, but the numbers have changed a little bit. And in the sheet three table as well, the numbers have changed a little bit, but only uh, the names and the column headings are same. So these three data are available to me. What if I am given an assignment that I have to consolidate or combine this data out of these three sheets? So uh, I have to use the feature known as consolidation. Now there are three ways how can we apply consolidation. The first way is the simplest way. And what is a prerequisite for this uh, is that for any sheet, the table must be present in the same column. Like for here, you can see that the uh, table starts from the cell D4 and continues up to the cell H10 in the sheet one. Same is the location in the sheet two and same in the location in the sheet three. So if you want to find out the sum in the uh, sheet four, so what can we do is first of all, go to any of the sheets and find out that where is the exact place where this first number starts. So that is uh, E5. So I come to this E5 cell and here I begin typing the formula. Suppose I want to uh, find the sum of these three cells. So how can I do that? I just uh, put an equal sign and write the formula of sum and open the parenthesis. Now here we are required to give the arguments. Now these arguments are present in the different sheets. So how can we do that? Just go to sheet one and select this argument. Now the other two arguments that we want to apply are present on the same cell, but in the different sheets. So from here, you can just select these three sheets. You are already in sheet one, then select sheet three by pressing on the shift key. Like this and press enter. Now, as soon as you do that in sheet five, you can see that you have got something as 130. And if you view its formula, so its formula uh, in the formula bar is something like this. Sheet one colon sheet three exclamation mark. E5. That means from sheet one till sheet three, the column or the cell number E5 has been summed over here. Now, if you want to cross check, you can go to sheet one. Its value is 40. In sheet two, it's 70. 40 and 70 is 110. In the sheet three, it is 20. So 110 plus 20 is 130. That is what we have got over here. And if you want, you can just extend it to other uh, cells as well. So we have got the sum of all the cells like uh, right here. All right. Now you can just cross check them uh, as per your wish. Now this is one way of consolidating the data, but its limitation as you might have noticed is that the sheets or the tables must be present in the same place in all the sheets, but that is not always the case possible. The uh, tables cannot be present in the same place. Uh, what if I just uh, move this table to some other column, say over here and in the sheet three as well, I move it to some other column, say over here. So what happens in sheet five is that this data becomes distorted and you can just cross check it that uh, it was 40, 70 and 20. In the first cell, we required a data of 130, but the data we are getting is 118. So this is a limitation. So how can we remove that limitation? To remove it, what you can do is just select a cell in sheet five, go to the data tab. Here you will find a data tools group in which consolidate is a option. So you can just select on this consolidate option. 
as soon as you do that you will see that uh, there is a kind of a menu bar or a dialog box opened in front of you <coughs> now this uh, dialog box first requires you to select a function now it could be any function that you want to apply over your data and these are the list of the functions that you can apply i'm just going to apply a simple sum function but uh, all the functions are similar and there is no need to follow any different steps all these steps for all the functions are same just select any of the function from here then it requires me to select a reference so for that what i'm going to do is um, just press on this key go to sheet 1 and select this whole table like this and make sure that top row and left column is checked and click on add then go to sheet 2 and again select this whole table from sheet 2 click on add similarly in sheet 3 select this whole table in sheet 3 make sure top row and left column is checked and click on add now you can just click on okay or you can come to sheet 5 and then click on okay and as soon as you do that you can see that uh, your data has been consolidated over here now what is the usage of uh, checking those two options of uh, top row and left column as you can see that uh, we have got a copy of the tables that were already created but without any formatting so the top row that we have got is what quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 and quarter 4 which is the exact top row that was present in our tables and the left column is the names column which was exactly present in our previous tables so that is how we can get a copy of the tables exactly and if you want you can just cross check the data uh, in sheet 1 it is 40 sheet 2 it's 70 and sheet 3 it's 20 means a total of 130 so in the first column we have got a total of 130 irrespective of the fact that where that particular table lies in which sheet so this is how you can consolidate the data or perform any function over the data that is present over different sheets and in different locations as well now uh, there is one limitation of this consolidation as well now what is that limitation if we just go to sheet 1 and change its data from 40 to say 80 so now uh, what would be our total is 80 plus 70 is 150 and uh, 20 is 170 but uh, in sheet 5 there is still 130 shown to us so whatever the changes we do in our data over there is not shown in the data over here that is because our consolidation has occurred but there are no links to the source data once the data has been taken it is uh, treated as it is a uh, static data it is what is called so now we need to create a dynamic data how can we do that again you got to select a cell click on consolidate now before that what i'm going to do is just delete all these consolidations that i had created previously and now we are going to create a dynamic data consolidation so for that first of all uh, you got to follow the same steps select the function and select the three references so just select the references which is going to be our whole tables in the different sheets like this add it but before adding make sure that this option create links to source data is checked click on add similarly in the sheet 2 add and similarly in the sheet 3 add click on okay now you can see that uh, the table that we have got is consolidated with dynamic data now how can you check it you can see that uh, already we have got 170 as the answer but if we just go to sheet 1 and change its value to a 20 so in that case what should be the answer 20 plus 70 is 90 and again plus 20 is 110 so you can see that uh, as soon as we changed the data in any of our sheets then in this uh, table which is consolidated dynamically our data is already changed to 110 while our sheet that was consolidated statically the data has not changed at all 
So that is how you can uh, use consolidation to apply functions to the different sheets data or to the tables which are present in different sheets. Apart from that, you can also apply consolidation over the data that is present at the different locations in the same sheet as well. So these are the three ways of consolidating the data. One is uh, having a limitation of position. The other is having a limitation of uh, modification, but the third option has no limitation. So you can change the table to any position that you want, and you can also modify the data any times, as many times as you want. It has no limitation. It will always show you the correct data. So that is all about consolidation that you can understand in Microsoft Excel. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video. For more such tutorials, keep watching the YouTube channel, Programming Knowledge.